Yeah, it's PowTV.net. It's your boy, Mr. Birch, Young Birch. I got a exclusive here. We just we all just got the big news of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominees. So I got an interesting call today to the bat phone. So I just want to bring it to uh, the world's attention. They want to bring it to the world's attention as well. So who we who do I have on the line right now? Hello. Yeah, what's up? My name is Star Barrier. And I'm the firstborn of Eric Barrier, nominee of Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And who else do we have on the line? And my name is Takara Barrier. I'm Star's niece, um, cousin. So, <clears throat> Eric Barrier. For those who don't know, uh, who who is Eric Barrier? Eric B, hip hop pioneer to Eric Me and Rakim. So, hip hop legend Eric B of Eric B and Rakim is your father. Yes, I'm the firstborn. Okay, so that's what's up. Uh, how how did he take the uh the news that he got nominated to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I guess he was happy about it because he was blasting it all over everywhere he can. I possibly, I presume, because me and him aren't too likely of each other. We don't speak. We're not on speaking terms at the moment. Before we even get into anything about that, I want to say much success and much congratulations to him for that. But on the other hand, I want to say to all the young ladies out there, you don't have to grow up with your father to still be doing your thing because he surely wasn't here for me at all. And I'm still doing my thing, and I still turned out very well. Now, when you say he wasn't there, like, was he there when you were born, and then he left, like, in your childhood? Was he never there, or did he, like, come in and out your life? Like, how was that Basically, in and out, in and out, not really being the father he was to the other kids, I presume. Or I don't know the story with them. I'm not going to speak on them. I'm not going to speak on the other kids. How many I'm just other kids are there? This. Questionable, actually. You you never know. How many <laughs> kids do you know of? I know of quite a few. Shout out Their to my number? brothers and sisters. I couldn't even give you a five, number right now. 15, 30? About... I have no idea. That's not that's neither here nor there with me. So you said he was in and out. Like was was did he support you financially at some point? Here and there, but not how you supposed to give it up for your kids. Point blank period. Never how you supposed to give it up for your kids. And take it how you take it how anybody can take it how they want it. You're never supposed to leave your kids financially unstable, no matter what goes on. That's just so, how I feel about the situation. So name, like, some situations where you were in need and he didn't uh, come through for you guys. Right now, college. I'm in college. I mean, I don't know if you know, that shit is expensive. And okay. I'm doing it on my own. Like, what about your childhood? Is there any situations, like, growing up where he wasn't there for you or wasn't there to provide for you? Not at all. I never, never, never really was there at all. Here and there, little drops of some money here and there. But other than that, not at all. Was he ever, uh, was he ever bought to... Child support court? I'm not sure what the term for that is. Was he ever bought to court for... Of course. He owes me money now. Around how much money... To this day. Around how much money do you think he uh, owes you? (laughs) About... Just... It's an adequate amount. He owes me some money. You say it's like, what, 10,000, 20,000? No, 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 no. Not even in that ball court. 
far more than that. So he owes you more than twenty thousand dollars in child support. Yes. Damn. So do you have like court documents available? Like of course he I goes do. on air tomorrow and he's like, Nah, she's lying. She's trying to get some pub. Of so course you have I do. court documents available. Like when was the last time he had to go to court? Because you say you're still in college, so I guess like, recently. College. Recently, he yeah. doesn't show up to court dates at all. So he doesn't show up to court dates. No, he sends his lawyers. So like, what what do the lawyers say if uh if he doesn't show up and the lawyers are there? Like there has to be some type of money being transferred after, right? I've never seen any of it. That's crazy. So you could pay for lawyers, but he doesn't want to pay the child support. Um, you know, you seeing it just like I'm seeing it. That's crazy. So, all right. So, what's the relationship between uh Eric B and your mother right now? There is no relationship there. There's no contact at all. Besides the text messages that we got of him getting a nomination, no. So, so he texted you to let you know that he was being nominated for Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but still no money. No. Congratulations, right. though. Shout out so to you. He, <laughs> so is is he working right now? Is he is he getting work? Is he what is he doing? You could, you couldn't even pay me to know, to be honest with you. There's so many games being played. There's so, there's so many. You wouldn't even know to half. Yeah, because we know he's not like bankrupt or anything. Because like, we would know. Like the blogger community would know. Like we're very inquisitive. We find court documents. We we do all that stuff. So, we we know anytime Dame Dash or someone goes through financial troubles, but he hasn't. That hasn't been on the radar with, at least as far as he goes. So, like, he has to be doing something, right? So, what is that telling you? That just means I'm doing my thing, mind your business. That's what that's <laughs> about. But I respect it. I'm not bitter, nor am I mad. I just feel certain things aren't right. And certain things I- need to be made right. So what, like what do you said, think is a uh, if it, if I could take it all back to it being I had my father instead of him owing me a bunch of money, I'd take my father over this money. But since we know it ain't going down like that, the money don't make don't the money don't sound so bad. All right, so like growing up, were you guys like poor? Were you guys? Middle class. No, my mother have always bust her ass to make sure we've been good. So it's never been we so it's never been strictly any asked out. Or food stamps or anything like that. It's never been to that extent. All right, so Takara, you've been kind of quiet. You want to kind of add anything into I this? Mean, in a nutshell, all, all Star is really just trying to say is that. You know, people are excited. They're, you know, they feel like they may, maybe their careers might be revived with a little, you know, rock and roll, rock and whatever, rock and roll Hall of Fame nomination. I mean, that's that's a really big deal in the the music community. But I think what my cousin is trying to get at is, you know, this is a glorified person of the music department, but you can't even be glorified at home. So that's my cousin. Um, Eric B is my uncle. That's my father's brother. And, you know, it's, it's pretty much an ongoing problem straight across the board. Everybody's like that. Everybody just has handled, handled business issues. None of them handle any kind of business. Nobody does anything they're supposed to do ever. And that's just what it is. Like, I, I don't maybe it's in their DNA or something like that just to be washed. I don't know. But that's what it is. And that's how they, that's how they give it up. Don't nobody do nothing for their kids. And... You know, they be on they be on Facebook, blowing it up. Oh, I'm nominated. Oh, I'm in Vegas. I'm here. I'm in Cali. Ooh, it's 89 degrees here. Sorry for everybody in New York. But yo, you showed up to court with an EBT card. Like, I don't, I don't oh, get oh, that. Oh, like, who showed up to court with the EBT card? 
that was my father. He rolls up, you know, like, listen, listen, judge, you know what I'm saying? I got a little situation. I ain't, I ain't got it like that. You know, this is what it is. I'm, I'm going back to Cali or, and shit, you know, just to, you know, because somebody out there could hold me down because I ain't really got it like that in New York. But as soon as he touched down, he's on, he, he's on Facebook updating every five minutes. You see his photos of the Venetian, Aria, everything. Everybody's, you know, Big Willie out there in Vegas, but showing EBT cards, like trying to get excused for handling your business. Like, that's how we giving it up in 2011. I don't, I don't think that's right. That's all the way out from a, a debt of that's always going to be a part of you. Just handle your business. It's clear that, you know, me and Star are, you know, women that are doing our thing, and all of that is irrelevant. Like I said, we're, we're, no, we don't, we're no haters, you know. Cong- like I said, congrats. I mean, it's all over Facebook. It's all over the Internet. But I would think people do kind of feel away when people be flossing what they have and really not handling business because people are getting the wrong impression of who these people really are. That's what it's really about. So – do you have any knowledge if uh, Eric B is using an EBT card as well? <laughs> no, I, I mean, I don't know. According to Star, he don't even show up to court. So, I mean, he he be on an EBT card. He just sends his lawyer, and, and that's how he's giving it up. But, I mean, I guess my, my pops is taking the, the broke down road. You know, when you into, I guess, crazy business, you know how to get around stuff. And, you know, that's how you're giving it up. But I don't know. I guess the EBT cards work in the slot machines now because, you know, <laughs> get, get a room, get a comp or something. I don't know. So, I mean, if that's what it is, I mean, a lot more people going to be on the road with their EBT cards. Oh, yeah. All right. So what, what kind of cars do uh, Eric being your dad drive? Well, I mean, I haven't seen I haven't seen my father personally in in years, like a, a long time. But from what I can remember of growing up, nothing but the best of cars of whatever time that was, Escalades, Benzes, Benzes, Rolls Royces, and Porsches. Uh, I don't know, everything they have. They they have the best of everything. They have the best lifestyles for themselves as men. But you can't really call those dudes men when they don't handle their business like. At all, and like I said, for kids, kids growing up, they don't get finances. Just like Star, I didn't, I didn't have no financial strife in my life. My mother took care of me very well. Went to private school my whole life, you know, and I'm, and I'm still doing me. I, I ain't got no, no eat better today card like my pops or nothing like that. <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm doing me. But at the same time, kids don't understand finances. We're talking about just be there, just be there in your, in the child's life, in their life to just be there. I mean, like I said, I didn't understand. I don't understand finances as a four or five year old, but I do. But a person, when you get older and you realize, damn, this person was chasing a, a dream before they was even chasing something they create. And you know, last time I checked, turned on the TV, I don't see nobody. Don't have their video, nothing really crazy going on in their lives. And you know, it's just sad that when they do get a little bit of spotlight, I can't. You can't. You just can really frown upon it. You just want to show people for what they're really worth. Like, you know, people glorify these people, and I'm sure it's just not only my uncle that's out there like that, but people go, I'm just other, you know, rap artists out there or, you know, old school rap artists that don't take care of their kids, you know, the flavor flays of the world, you know, things like that. They don't do handle their business. That's just, I don't know if that's like their thing, but when you give it up and make people happy, you should be making sure home is happy first. That's all I'm saying. All right, so. Oh, when was the last time you've seen Eric B? I probably ain't seen I ain't seen Eric. Actually, I think I've seen him one time back in the day in, in Envy. So that mean and that was Club Envy. You remember Club Envy? <laughs> I might have seen him there. Hello? Yeah. Uh I might have seen him at Club Envy, you know chilling or whatever, or some oh what up, that's my uncle type stuff, you know. I'm more I think age age appropriate for clubbing, so I'm just gonna leave that at that. Oh, but he was in there. Star, like, star as far as time, him Eric as far as seeing him, I haven't seen Eric in years. Like our communication our communication has been strictly via text message or he'll call once in a while. And to be honest with you, the most times I've ever spoken to my father was when court things were going on when his his assets were frozen in court and he tried to convince me to convince my mother to to get the assets unfrozen 
So That's the most time he was I've in ever court. spoke to him in my life. So he was in court. He couldn't he couldn't do anything with the bank or anything with his assets. They were frozen. And that's the only time he tried to speak to you? Yes. That's the only time it was, it was, um, oh, yeah, you you my firstborn. And it was things of the sort. And I felt, like, like Cara said, I felt some type of way about that. And it's not about money with me at all. Because, like I said, I would trade the money for my father. But that's not going to happen. We're not going to take 20-something years back at all. So I'm not, like I said, this interview is not me being mad. It's me being real. People need to open their eyes to what's really going on in the world. The nominee, like I said, that is real big, and congratulations to you as a person. And you worked hard, and shout out to that. But on the other hand, I can't really, I can't really feel, I feel like them. I've always came second to your rap star career when I was here before that. So Eric B. is listening right now. What was the message you you guys would have for Eric B.? From personally, for me, I just... To be God honest with you, I really wish he would just do what he has to do. Point blank, period. It's nothing more, it's nothing less. Right. All I said was, in 2011, everybody needs to pay their bills, okay? Everybody's trying to get their credit score up, the economy is bad, and all that. So just handle your business, pay your bills, because, like I said, child support going, it's just like a student loan. It goes nowhere. So if you don't handle that, you're going to always have a problem. And then while you're at it, help your brother out because he's on the EBT plan, the monthly plan from the government, and that's all the way out as a grown man. It, that makes no sense to me whatsoever. So with that being said, like I said, we can't. We, nobody's mending any childhood relationships here. What's done is done. We, me and Star are just trying to hold people accountable. That's all it really is. In life, everybody thinks, oh, oh, wow, you know, this person is so great. Oh, this one is so that. No, this is this is what it really is. People really suck. And we're just, we're just shedding a little light on it. That's all. Nothing really. Just There's no hate. Star said it a couple of times. I'm going to throw one more in there. Congratulations to you. You know, it's a nominee. Quite a, you know, achievement in your lifetime. Not everybody gets that. But why don't you be the champion of your, you know, your kids? That's where it really counts. I'm just saying. That's it. All right, so there you have it. We have the the daughter and the niece of hip-hop legend Eric B. 